In the summer of last year, varsity basketball player Stephanie Jackson tore her ACL on a college recruiting visit, putting her out of the game for her entire junior year. Almost a year later to the day, Jackson tore her opposite ACL, putting her on the bench for the beginning of her senior year's season, a devastating turn of events for an athlete of over eight years. Before I got injured, uh, basketball was like, felt easy, like, it's like part of like life, like walking to me or something. But then when you find out you might not be playing for like six to eight months, like you're like, well, what do I do? Like this is what I do every day. McKinney North head basketball coach Holly Mulligan says that Jackson's injury forced her to take on a different role within the team and one that would bring many benefits. I've torn my ACL before too. It's just a character building moment and you really have to do some soul searching and you have to go from a key player to a cheerleader. Knowledge wise, when you're not playing, you see more like you're on the bench you see things that they probably don't see that helps me because so when I am back out here like I know like I remember like watching those moments they were out there and like I can execute with them. Coach Mulligan explains that she believes the setback was one of the many things that have made Jackson the person that she is today. I think that it was a positive in the fact that she learned all these things at a very young age and she's a fighter you know Melo's got the strongest personality on our team probably the toughest mentality so that mental toughness will help her later in life. From the moment Jackson stepped back onto the court, she showed her team that she's not only excited to be playing again, but ready to help lead the team to victory. She's really wanting to be out here. She's hungry. She wants to play. She had um, her second game back. Uh, she had 20 points. She just makes her, our team better. She's one of those players that I call a game changer because she makes her teammates better and all those around her better. Jackson hopes that her story can inspire other athletes suffering from injuries to rise above the setbacks they bring and remain focused on their goals. I put in so much work before and I, it's basically not enough to like make me quit my sport. If you really love the game, like you're going to do anything possible. Like I feel like those athletes who are in love with what they do, they will do whatever they have to do to get back to what they love doing. Jackson says that her hopes for the team's success are high, but not as high as her goals of enjoying her last year on the team and working her hardest in every last moment. Obviously the best thing that can happen for us is to win state, but like, honestly my goal for the rest of the season is just to have fun with my team my last year and you know try to, to do the best we can. If you'd like to see Stephanie and the team in action, they play their first game of playoffs tonight against Frisco Independence at Allen High School starting at 7. This has been Sarah Taylor for NTV.